Yeah, 45 minutes. I'm sorry to get you on your day off. It's okay, fill me in. It's Dr. Harcourt's patient. She's 30. This is her second pregnancy. Her first was a cesarean section. She went into labor at full term, but the old uterine scar ruptured. Did it tear the uterine artery? Yes, it did. Okay, put your running shoes on. Wait. How's my wife? I just want you to relax. The sooner I get in there, the sooner I can come back with the good news. Okay, Dr. Please. Right here. Right there. Please. All right, Dave, I got here soon. Things don't look good. I'm not sure we can stop the hemorrhage and save the uterus. The mother and baby are already in trouble. Okay, let me get in there and see what I can do. Good. Yeah. How are the fetal thumbs? Baseline dropping with occasional deceleration. You're getting shocking. I have to save the baby. We work so hard to have it. We can't lose it. It means so much. I want you to close your eyes and think about you and the baby. You're at home and everything's fine. Will you do that for me? Mother and daughter are fine. Oh, thank you, Doctor. Thank you. This is the perfect starter home. All the moldings are original, and uh, the fireplace works, and the electricity's been updated. What about the kitchen? Right this way for the surprise of your life. Great. Oh, yes. yeah. But John wasn't kidding when he said you were good. <laughs> I'll give him a kiss for that when I get home. This could not be more perfect if I designed it myself. Do I get my own room? You know what? I think there's a bedroom around here somewhere with your name written on it. You want to go try to find it? Yeah? Come on, let's go. You really like it? Yeah. What do you think? Hmm? We'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think you should talk to your mom and dad first? Yeah. No. Well, that answers that. <laughs> I think so. Hello. It's great! You know you're great with kids. You really gotta have some of your own someday. Yeah, I think a station wagon full. <laughs> I really like this. Great, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Definitely the best. Oh! Laura, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Laura, what's wrong? It's all right. It's just a little cramp. Oh, listen, do me a favor. Don't say anything about this to John, okay? Are you sure? Yeah, it'll just worry him. I'm okay. Oscar, come here. I want to show you something. I haven't got much time. These morons in English 101 are going to die if we don't cover Beowulf today. You think Laura will like it? Well, if she doesn't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, it's very beautiful, very classy. I'm gonna ask her there. You think she'll say yes? <laughs> no. Thank you. Betters would like to speak with you. Is she in her office? Oh, hi, Mrs. Um, Mrs. Borf's workouts are not up to this clinic's standards. I'm sorry, Dr. Betters, but the hospital's methods and yours are different, and I'm not in sync yet with your procedure. I 
I run the best clinic in this city. And if you want to be a part of it, that means you have to be the best. And that means we treat the patient's life as if it were our own. I understand, Dr. Betters. Hi, Charlie. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Heard you performed one of your miracles today. <laughs> you, uh, you wanted to talk to me? Yeah. I want to talk to you about the divorce settlement and what we want to Jenny, do at the clinic. We've covered that, haven't we? Haven't we covered that? Yes, we've covered it, but we haven't resolved anything. Now, 75% owner of the corporation, I want to buy you out. I can't work with you anymore, Ed. Hey, hey, I'm not that excited about going on as partners myself. I mean, it's not any easier for me. Good, then let's be done with it. And I figure that your share of the corporation is worth around $300,000. And I spoke with my father. He's willing to advance me the cash to buy you out. Then what? Then you can start your own clinic. Oh, I just start all over again. I just throw away the last five years of my life I've had in trying to help build this place. Is that it? That's just great. Good God. I'm asking, can't we maintain this partnership for one more year? Just wait a minute! Hey! Just one more year, Jenny. That's all I want till I can pay Marvin the money that I owe him. That's all I want. You know, you should be more conservative with your money. You spent too much purpose. money. You didn't yeah, have to get the house. Okay, all right, car. okay, but just stop it. Damn. I hope you're going to accept my offer. It's not that easy. It's not that simple. It's not that simple. I know it's not that simple, but what am I supposed to do? The marriage is over. I'm going to live with that, but I don't yeah. have to continue please, a working please, relationship please, with please, you, man. I can't. Don't start. Just please don't cry. Okay, please. If you don't accept my offer, Ed, I'll have to fight you in court. Now, I don't want to do that, but I will if I have to. And you'll lose, Ed. This is so pretty, isn't it? Beautiful. I look like mountain, you know, with the sun playing on it now. Sun playing? <laughs> Your little hands. <laughs> Oh, baby, I'm so happy. I am so happy. Are you? Yes, I am. Good. You want some champagne? I love some. Well, hold the glasses and I'll pour it. Okay. It's a deal. God, you look beautiful. Oh, honey, I mean, thanks. you look beautiful. If I do, it's because you make me feel that way. Have a little? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. A little whoa. more for you. No. Yeah. I don't get crazy. A little more. Oh, honey. No. Thank God every day you walked into my life. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, I got a uh, little surprise for you. You do? Oh, just a little surprise. Oh, good, good. What is it? <laughs> oh, great. Oh, well, honey, my Cracker Jack. <laughs> Open it up. Let's see. You're so good. I want some. Okay. You get the peanuts. Mmm. Oh, it's the peanuts. What surprise? I don't know if there is one. There's a surprise. Oh, yeah, there it is. It looks like a diamond ring. It does. Hmm. Oh, honey. Oh, it's just beautiful. Will we marry me? I guess it's a yes. Oh. Oh! 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 oh. 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 oh.
Baby, are you all right? Uh, Was it your stomach again? Yeah. Look at you, you're right. Oh, God. Lori, you've got to see a doctor. I'm afraid of doctors. I know, but you can't go on like this. Look, I know you had another attack today. Rudy and Jane called after they saw the house. No. Lori, you've got to promise me you'll find a good doctor and go. Baby, what well, I'm concerned about you. Will you go with me? Of course I will. How long have you, uh, how long have you had this pain? Uh, I guess about six months. And it's been getting worse and uh, more frequent, too, like right? three times a week? Yeah, something like that. Any previous history of cysts? Any uh, problems with your fallopian tubes? No. What about endometriosis? No, I've never had any problem of any kind. Okay. I'll tell you what I'd like to do is I would like to give you a full examination. Okay. Mr. Kopiak, if you would wait in the reception area, it shouldn't take very long. Just follow me. What's taking so long? Everything seemed to be okay. Yeah. You would just take a look at it. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. We're running a little behind today. Is everything okay? Well, based on my uh, physical exam and the ultrasound report, you do have an ovarian cyst, okay? It's a very large one. That's what it looks like right there, okay? It's uh, almost certainly benign, and it does have to come out. And I would suggest doing that as soon as possible. It's a very simple operation, isn't it? Yeah. Once the cyst is removed, you're going to be fine. There'll be no problem at all. I want children very badly. Am I going to be okay? Am I going to be able to have children? I think you two will probably have more kids than you're going to know what to do with. Okay. <laughs> oh, surgery really frightens me. I know. It scares most people. I um, I always advise getting a second opinion. I think that's a real smart way to go. Okay. Matter of fact, I'd be happy to uh, give you a list of specialists if you uh, have no one to say. Okay. Well, based on my physical exam and the ultrasound report. I agree with Dr. Betters. You have a cyst. It should come out the sooner the better. That way you nullify any chance of it affecting your having children. What about the operation? What do you suggest? I've heard good things about Dr. Betters. Well, they're all justified. If I were going to have an operation, he's the man I'd want. There's the cyst. Sponge. Forceps. Scissors. Oh, no. What's wrong? She has endometriosis with extensive involvement of the fallopian tubes. She seems to be totally obstructed. She said she had no previous history of endometriosis. We've got a small problem here. The ovarian wall behind the cyst is starting to bleed. The endometriosis involves uterine vessels and we're just some very heavy bleeding. I'm going to need some blood. Clamp. Clamp. Damn it. Clamp. I can't stop.
stop the bleeding. What are you going to do? After performing his direct me. Wait. You can't do this. I won't take any responsibility on this. Blood pressure's still falling. All right, let's get on with it. Come on. Yes, sir. Maybe when you're up to it, you can take one of those weekend houseboat trips up the Sacramento River. Sounds great to me. What do you think, honey? Huh? Oh, yeah, sounds great. I want to say something. Oscar, maybe now is not the best time. I think it is. Are you sure this doctor did the best job that he could? I mean, doctors do make mistakes. She's gonna sue. You can't be serious. Well, as your attorney, I see it as just a threat to get us to settle. I saved her life. Yes, by giving her a hysterectomy, she claims was unnecessary. Ed. Ten years of experience in the insurance business is telling me we've got to settle. Oh, what, Roger? This decision has already been made? I met privately with Amy and Roger, and it was decided in the best interest of the clinic. What about me? I'm a partner here. Not a controlling partner. Jenny, you settle this thing, and it makes it look like I was wrong. I wasn't. I want to fight this. I advise against it. Listen, when I opened her up, I discovered she had severe endometriosis. And in all probability, she wouldn't have been able to have children anyway. So doesn't that mean... No, it doesn't. What exactly is endometriosis? And does it have any effect on this lawsuit? Fragments of tissue from the uterine lining become embedded outside the uterine cavity if they get bad enough to impede pregnancy. Now, you tell me why we shouldn't fight her on that. Number one, she had no previous history of the disease. Number two, there's no record of it from your exam. And third, the pathology report on the uterus shows no signs of endometriosis. Of course not, because the endometriosis was located in the area of the fallopian tubes, the ovary, and the blood vessels that supply the uterus. And you cannot legally open her back up and say, look, there, there it is. So, Ed, in short, we can't prove it. And in court, her attorney could say you're only using this tact, which can't be proved, to cover your own mistake. 
That's a lie. Ed, don't get mad. I'm just trying to tell you what could happen in court if we went to court. Which we're not doing. End of discussion. Set a meeting. Call the insurance company and have them settle this quickly and quietly. I don't want this affecting the clinic. You settle this and you can wreck my career. You know, we are trying to save your career. You don't understand that? We felt a formal hearing was unnecessary. We understand the pain and the suffering that Miss Parks has gone through. We'd like to make a proposal of $350,000. It's unacceptable. Why don't you think about it? And if you can see your way clear to settling this expeditiously, we're prepared to add another $100,000 to the offer. You are not even close. We're asking seven million. I guess we'll just have to let the court handle this. If, however, you change your mind, feel free to call me. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Do you have any idea what you've done? I saved your life. That's how you see it. How do you see it? Tell me how you see it. I can never have children, that's how. And for me, that's a death sentence. Yes, there's absolutely no reason to doing any more Listen, you have no right to talk to her at all. After what you did, I did my best for you. I had your life in my hands. Do you understand that? I had it in my hands. And I saved it. No one, no one could have done more for you. I don't care what anybody tells you. If it weren't for me, you would be dead. A judge will decide. Dr. Wolf, as you stated, you would have handled things differently in the operating room. Would you explain that? It is extremely rare that upon the removal of an ovarian cyst, the uterine vessels would be lacerated, that uh, blood loss would be so severe it could not be controlled. I believe that there was ample time to try to stop the bleeding. I believe you should have tried. So the hysterectomy as performed by Dr. Betters was unnecessary? I believe it was. You can't physically see what Dr. Betters is doing as he performs surgery, can you? No, I'm sitting at the top of the table. Now, Dr. Betters mentioned in several depositions that the patient was suffering from severe endometriosis, and he discovered this while performing surgery. Yes, that's correct. He had already started to remove the ovarian cyst when he mentioned this condition to you. Yes. That's all. You examined Laura Parks and gave a second opinion concerning Dr. Better's initial examination. I did. Well, tell me, doctor, during your exam, did you discover any signs of endometriosis? I didn't check for that. I bet she had no history of it, and Dr. Better's had nothing in his exam file that might indicate she had it. I hold up. Okay. Wish this cup of coffee with a black hole. I jump inside it and disappear. Hang in there. This fight isn't over yet. Roger, I'm really scared. What if I lose this? What would happen to me? This shouldn't happen to somebody like you. It just shouldn't. I know the kind of man you are. We all do. You don't deserve this. I can't tell you how glad I am that someone feels that way about me. Ginny is not herself. I know. 
She's not dealing with the divorce very well. Her emotions are really conflicted. I guess no divorce is easy. It stirs up a lot of bad emotions. Ready to go on the stand? There was no chance to stop the bleeding. Contrary to what Dr. Wolf says, the uterine vessels were damaged and they were hemorrhaging. As I said, uh, there was absolutely no time to stop the bleeding without threatening the patient's life. So you performed a hysterectomy? Yes, I did. The uh, health and welfare of the patient always come first. I pride myself on my professionalism. I did the right thing. That is all. <coughs> you performed an operation on Laura Parks without her consent, did you not? I saved her life. Did you perform an operation on Laura Parks without her consent? I did, yes. Now you had already started to remove the ovarian cyst when you stated the patient was suffering from extreme endometriosis. That's correct. The patient was already bleeding. No, normal bleeding at that point. Well, could it have been you somehow made an improper incision? That you were negligent? No, That you tried to not. cover your mistake by claiming the patient had this endometriosis? No, absolutely not. The vessels leading to the uterus were extremely weak due to endometriosis. They were deteriorated. And during surgery, they literally gave way. The pathology report on the uterus shows no signs of endometriosis. Counselor, as I stated before, the uterus was not affected. The vessels leading to the uterus were. <laughs> well, that all seems very convenient, doesn't it? I'll tell you what I think. I think you knew you were at fault. You'd already done irreparable damage to Laura Parks, so you made up this alleged condition to try to avoid facing the truth. That through your negligence, you had to perform a hysterectomy and condemn this woman never to... Your Honor, I object. that speculation. Objection sustained. That's a lie. What you said is a lie. Is it? I don't think so. I will not sit here and have my character attacked. What kind of a man do you think I am? You think I come up here and lie? Ed! I took a damn oath and that means something to me. The witness will please sit down. Ed! Who the hell do you think you are? You sit there with that smug attorney of yours. Sit down! You're twisting the facts to suit your own ends. You will sit down. I will not sit down! been seriously involved for the past nine months and we wanted to have kids lots of kids I don't understand any of this I really don't I don't understand why Dr. Betters is claiming that I suffered from some disease I never had anything like that I was never treated for anything like that I want to get to the truth here. I put my life in your hands. You should have taken better care. something from me I can't get back. You've broken me. It shouldn't have happened. 
Taking into consideration all the facts, reviewing all the medical depositions, and placing special emphasis on the testimony of Dr. Betters and Ms. Parks, I agree to a judgment of $7 million. Just remember, you're a wonderful person, and there are good things ahead. Thanks. If you only knew. Congratulations, darling. You just pulled off the scam of a lifetime. You've been very quiet tonight. I know, I'm sorry. Laura, I want you to know that nothing has changed for me. The issue of the children... Well, I'd be just as happy to adopt. I really would. Why don't we get married in July instead of August? Mike could take some time off. We could go to Europe. I've had to deal with so much emotionally. I really think it would be best if we postponed the wedding for a while. See you here. Well, to tell you the truth, I didn't expect to see you either. Well, I guess you won't have to work with me anymore. Hmm? about this like you might think. I'm really not. I didn't uh, want to win this way. I 
I believe you. You know what? I'm glad. Because uh, this this bad blood between the two, I can't take it. It's uh, it's killing me. You know. I never I never wanted things to get this far. Honest to God, it didn't. Me either. This isn't the time at all, but I really need you to reconsider selling your share of the corporation. I'm really not trying to take advantage of the situation, but... That's no, okay. You know, I'll explain. <clears throat> Actually, I was going to... I was going to come talk to you. I never thought I'd be. Your new account is opened. You said you were expecting a check? In about 15 days from an insurance company. It's for $5 million. I'd like the money transferred to your Zurich branch because I'll be moving there as soon as I sign for the check. Is uh, your husband to be named on the account? No. No, that won't be necessary. I need to get away for a few days. Laura, ever since the trial, you have been moody, distant, you want to postpone the wedding. So much has happened. Is it John. me? Have I, uh... The whole issue of adoption and the marriage is just... Look, I just need some time alone. Well, can't you wait till the weekend to go away? We can go somewhere together and talk this over. If we go away together, I won't be alone, will I? Where are you going to be staying? You're going to tell me, aren't you? I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going to drive. But when I stop somewhere, I'll call you, okay? I really need this time to myself. Do you understand? I'm, I'm so confused. I, I just need to sort out my feelings. Look, I haven't ever asked you for much, have I? Do me this favor, okay? I'll call you. I really need this time. Laura, I love you so much.
There's a $400,000 cash settlement for your share of the clinic. And you can have any payment schedule you want. Well, you're being more than fair. My share comes to a lot less than this. I think I know how difficult it is to start over. I'm, I'm not trying to... I know. Still got a decent heart, yeah. Do you want to look at the rest of this agreement? No, not really. If you weren't going to cheat me on the price, you're not likely to cheat me on the rest. You want a drink? No, it's a little early for me yet. Well... Now that I'm retired, I can kick back. I hate Laura Parks. I thought I was the only one you hated. Just forget about that. I don't want to talk about it anymore. You don't mention her name. Forget it. How can you say that? What do you want me to say, Jen? That I hope she's driving along in her car, counting her millions, and her car goes off a cliff. Maybe I should just relive this nightmare over in my mind a couple of million times till it drives me nuts and I want to kill somebody myself. Maybe I should. Go on, leave me alone. Get out of here. Ed. I said leave now. Get out of here. making this any easier. Well, have I done something? I need to know. No, honey. Uh, you know, you promised you'd give me some time alone. You promised. I'm just getting very insecure. Have a little faith, okay, honey? I'll see you when I get home. Here are the files Oscar asked for. Thanks, Kitty. Working hard? 
think this has been the hardest year of my life. Well, if I know you, it was successful. Claudia, you'll never guess how successful. Thanks, Miss Parks. Bye. Oscar, I don't know what to make of this. I'm really confused. She's been through a horrible emotional trauma. You've got to be very understanding. I am trying. What about this? She wasn't even wearing her ring. What are you talking about? When she left, I saw her pick up her suitcase, right? Well, I always check out a ring, you know? I like seeing it on her finger. Yeah. Well, she wasn't wearing it. Don't you think that means something? Relax, it doesn't mean anything. Well, I think I'm going to give her a call anyway and ask her. Now I see where this is going. You're just looking for an excuse to call her or go see her. Let it be. You promised her. Couldn't believe you in court. I couldn't believe it when you said, what kind of a man do you think I am? You think I'd just come up here and lie? You understand? You were crying? <laughs> oh! <laughs> sorry, sorry. When you were crying on that stand, you were great. I was good, wasn't I? No, no, no. You were good. You were excellent. You were excellent. <laughs> I saw the judge's face. I knew we were going to be rich. Oh, I know. No. It was like a dream. Everything we planned was going perfectly. <sighs> it was such a turn on. Yeah. You know... This whole thing is like when surgery goes down and everything has a perfect rhythm and life just hangs in the balance, you know. It's the closest thing to being God you could ever imagine. It's two nine months ago. Thank God I had those stomach pains. Thank God I was the only doctor in this hotel. <laughs> oh, I love the taste of champagne that way. Let me show you how I like it. I have every time I look at you. I just want to 
she's supposed to be taking during her recuperation. Why don't you just ask Miss Parks? Well, she's off alone, and, uh, you know, I don't want to bother her unless she really needs them, you know. Maybe she forgot them or something. Well, this one is for an ear infection. This is for menstrual cramps. I can't read the label on that one. And this is an antihistamine. Just a minute. Thanks. Better's and Better's Clinic. Yes, I need some information about a prescription. I'd like to know who gave you this prescription. I thought your clinic did. You didn't, but I wish we did. I don't understand. Is something wrong? Hey, something's wrong, all right. Something's very wrong. This is Danazol. Danazol is only prescribed to someone who's suffering from endometriosis. There must be some mistake, because Laura had no reason to be taking those pills. At least that's what she testified to in court. I find it very curious that someone who said she could have children claims she never suffered from endometriosis and never saw a doctor should have these pills in her possession. I mean, I'd like an explanation. You know, if Miss Parks perjured herself in court, that could have some very serious consequences. Where are you going? You can't just walk away from this, Mr. Kopiak! Hmm. And what are you thinking? Can't you guess? I want to hear you say it. You want to hear me say what? My life is meaningless without you. Oh, I love you so much. I love you so much. I put my life in your hands. Hmm. Who is it? It's me. It's John. What are we going to do? Laura? to talk. Oh, you seem upset. Is it because I wanted some time alone? I told you I just needed some time. Where's my ring? It's in my jewelry box at home. Listen, if you want to talk, why don't we go for a walk? No, 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 no. we are not going anywhere. Laura, did you lie to me about ever being treated for that endometriosis? 
I mean, did you lie to ensure in some way that you'd make oh, money? Oh, this is crazy. I mean, this is really... Were you able to have children? I mean, you ever been treated for something before you met me and never told me? I don't know what you're talking about. You're not making any sense. I mean, I haven't been to any doctor. What are those? I went through your jewelry box back at home. I admit that that was wrong, but you lied to me. Because your ring is not in there. Lord, there's something going on here, damn it. I mean, ever since that trial, you've been acting differently. I mean, let's just get your clothes. We're getting out of here. Look, John, I'm not going anywhere with you. You can't order me around. I am part of this. And I'm going to get to the damn bottom of it. And if you lie, there's some kind of game going on. That... John, I want you to leave. I want you to go now. What the hell is this? Huh? <laughs> Who does this belong to? You answer me, Jennifer! No, I don't know! John, no! No, John, stop it! Stop! Leave him alone! Ed! John, stop! Please! <laughs> They decompose fast. It'll be weeks before they can identify him. Ed? John's car. What do we do with it? We, uh, we gotta make up a story. We make up a story that, uh, he went out of town. We park his car at the airport. Got it? 
Yeah. Ten days. Just ten more days. We get the money, and we're gone. I spent the rest of the weekend just working things through, you know, talking. It's been hard since the operation. I know. That's what I told him. By the way, where is he? Oh, well, you know that book he's been working on? Uh-huh. I talked him into taking a couple of weeks to just work and be alone. So I packed him off to New Mexico. You know how he oh. loves New Mexico. And I'm sure I'll join him there in a couple of weeks for a little R&R. &R. Good for him. Good for you. <laughs> God, I would give anything to be with him right now myself. Hi. Hi. Where have you been? I've been trying to call you for two days. I took a ride. Yeah? Well, fasten your seatbelt because I've got something to tell you. What's up? I think our dear, tragic Miss Pox is a definite liar. What do you mean? Her fiancé comes in with a prescription he thinks we filled for her. Guess what it's for? Endometriosis. <laughs> what? Well, I thought you were going to go to the roof when you heard about this. No, I'm just, uh, just a little... Uh... I'm just, I'm just shocked. Did you tell Amy and Roger about this? Of course I told Amy. I mean, she says we need more proof, but if she lied under oath, that could drastically reduce the settlement. Amy also said we could countersue, you know? Hold her up in court for a couple of years? I mean, we could possibly force her to settle for the original numbers. Jenna, I, I think you're going to need a lot more proof. <laughs> yes, but, Ed, we could save your career if we can prove this. If she wants to save your career, that's great. Relax. I have no proof. Just gotta think it through, that's all. That's all we gotta do, just think it through. She's been to the insurance company and the lawyers. Now what's next? Huh? Tell me! She's going to the university to talk to John. We're supposed to go to the police department this afternoon. You better stop her! Then think, damn it! Think! I'm supposed to be on her side, remember? Well, you better do something, because if she starts asking questions, people are gonna get suspicious! If you'd have gotten rid of those pills, we wouldn't be in this mess. I know! Look, the pills, they can't trace them. The doctor who gave them to me, he's dead. He's been right. dead. We went over all of this. I we know started we did. this I damn know. thing. Oh, God. What are we going to do? You don't know where the pills are. You don't know who the doctor is that wrote the prescription. And you don't really know if she has this endo, endo whatever. Endometriosis. You don't really have anything. Can't you at least talk to her? No. Look, her fiancé came in with the pills. He was shocked to find out about them. I mean, doesn't that tell you something? She lied to him. Now, he's gone off somewhere. I mean, there's something wrong here. Listen. Now, wait a minute. If she lied on the stand, that's perjury. Okay? Wait. If she lied, that means she conspired to defraud the insurance company, the clinic, and her doctor. That's a lot of ifs. 
Why don't you have something to say? You've been standing back there very quiet. I was sued. It cost me. I don't want to start anything I can't finish. Look, I'm sorry. But there's really nothing I can do about it. Oh, what is this? I mean, there's got to be some way to solve this. You heard thing. what he said. You heard what he said. I know, I know. But there's something. We're just not seeing it yet. That's all. Oh, hold on. Now listen, we're going into dangerous country now. If you're wrong, if you're wrong, who pays the price? I do. Now this woman could sue me for harassment. I cannot take that kind of damage right now. We should just let this thing go. You know, when we first met, there were two things I really admired about you. You were a great doctor. And when you fought, you fought all the way. Things change. fight for both of us. I can't talk to you right yes, now. Yes, well, I know about the pills. I know you lied in court. I was at the university today. I heard your boyfriend wasn't around. I was talking to some of his friends. I guess he took a little vacation. What's the matter? Did he take off when he found out you were a liar? He's nervous, huh? Well, you should be. Because there's something wrong here. And it all boils down to one simple fact. You're a liar! And I've got to stay on your back! You're not going to get any peace from that money now. Stop! I'm going to prove that you're the liar that I know you are. I know you can hear me. A detective. I'm supposed to see one tomorrow. She's gonna put a tail on you for as long as it takes. You brought me all the way out here to tell me this? No. I brought you all the way out here. Because here is where we're gonna kill her. We can't do that. We can't, we have to. I won't. The hell you won't. You're going to do as I say because you have no choice in the matter. I never thought you were capable of acting like this. When you've seen as much life and death as I have, when you've held it in your hands like I have, you get to see it for what it really is. And Laura, it's nothing if you lose it, and it's everything if you can keep it, and I intend to keep it. I can't kill. What's going to happen to us? Do you have any idea? Are you listening to me? Now, I went along with this little scam you concocted. I lay there and I let you along. cut me oh, up. I went along with it. I like that change of heart. You not only went along with it, honey, you loved it. And as far as getting cut up goes, my career is pretty cut up as it is. Matter of fact, it's cut to shreds now. I want you to tell me, tell me what we're going to do. What the hell should we do? I don't tell know. Me. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, remember something. You're not just an assessor. You can't say that you just stood there while I killed him. You're the one that helped bury the body, remember? You're the one that helped get rid of the car, remember? You are the one that called his friends and lied to his friends, remember? And they call that conspiracy. And we've gone way too far down the road to turn back now. There is nothing, absolutely nothing to turn back to. Nothing except the gas chamber. So what do we do? Do we deal with it or not? Tell me. How? Oh. Make it look like an accident. Hit and run. I got the whole thing worked out. When? Tonight.
Well, Jen, I think you were right. Yeah. I think we should do a lot more than just put a detective on this parcel. Yeah, I've had a change of heart. Want to get together and have dinner? Talk about a few ideas? about this morning? What? Our marriage. I wasn't a very good husband, was I? Your affairs hurt me. Selfishness hurt me, but... I don't know, this Laura Parks business, it seems to have changed you somehow. Has it? Seem more, more vulnerable. Things wrong. Get out and take a look at it. What do you think it is? Remember that blue baller station right there? <laughs> yeah, when we were first dating. I forget that. Remember when the engine fell out? <laughs> <laughs> Those were good times. Yeah, they we were. I'm sorry. Since the separation, I've been cold and distant. I regret it. It was just so hard. doesn't work from this far out. It's, in, uh, it's a phone across the way. Why don't you go call the tow truck? I'll see what I can do here, okay? okay.
swelling or cranial hemorrhage. She's having a hard time breathing on her own. Let's get her on a respirator. She's the one. Yeah. And she tried to run you over. She tried to kill me, if that's what you mean. And you saw the whole thing. Yeah, I did. Scared the hell out of us. I think the woman's crazy. <sighs> All right. Uh, I'm going to need to get statements from both of you. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be all right. I don't want to be touched right now. All right. Uh, I'll start with Mrs. Betters, huh? And get her statement. In the meantime, why don't you step outside, sit down, get a cup of coffee, just relax. Tell me everything that happened today. Yes, I do. Nurse? Is she breathing on her own? No, she's respirator assisted. Are her blood gases okay? We're sending specimens to the lab now. Are you a doctor? used to be. What you saw is accurate? 
we have a conspiracy here. And for them to be connected? I, I understand. The operation. Lawsuit. This is really hard to believe. Take it easy. We're taking Dr. Bitters upstairs to x-ray now. I'll be up to see you later. This way. How's it going with the parks woman? She come too for a second. I wanted to try something. Your wife says you've been pulled over on the side of the road about uh, two minutes? Yeah, that's right. And she went across to uh, call the toy company. Yeah. And she said nobody passed her. No, no, no one did. There's something here that I just don't understand. What do you mean? Well, you were pulled over. And you asked your wife to cross the road to call the toy company. And wham! Somewhere up the road, this Parks woman comes and tries to run her over. Where'd she come from? And how did she get there? I guess she followed me. Yeah, but if she was coming from the other direction, then she would have had to pass you and turn around. Maybe she did and we didn't notice. she run you both over when you were standing on the side of the road by the car? Why didn't she try to run you over? She could just as easily have done that. Yeah. I guess she could have. Your wife says you were going to, uh, what, Foster's restaurant? Isn't that kind of a roundabout way of getting there? We just went out for a drive. Yeah, but it's a kind of desolate area out there. I don't like the place myself. Lieutenant Gold. Oh, 
one way. I ain't your curb check cop. There's nothing wrong with it. It stalled. I couldn't get it going again. I tried. Yeah, it's a funny thing that happened to stall on that part of the road. Well, there's a phone right across the highway. That's yeah, funny. Well, there's something wrong here. I don't have all the pieces yet, but there's something wrong. This Parks woman is going to be able to answer a lot of my questions. Unless uh, you have something you want to say. Why should I have something to say? I'm going upstairs to see Mrs. Betters. Wait here. You're under arrest. How did you know? Mrs. Better's seen you on the road. What's your friend? You didn't need to unplug the respirator. Laura Parks died five minutes ago. You changed and that you and I could be together. Does money mean that much to you? Yes. By the way, this little setup, it was Dr. Better's idea. You set me up. You know what you did? You hung me. No! yourself 
I just helped. 